this week on Clown College. I had a, uh, we went out to Rainsville. I was, uh, and it was like next to a house in the middle of a field. And uh, the whole experience was uh, pretty bad. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but we get there and one of the guys is like, he does like fighting or whatever. And uh, he's got his like, his little kids are all running around. The three-year-old runs up with a knife in her, in her hand. She's like running around with a knife in her hand. And he's like, oh, 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 no, 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 no. And he like grabs, the hand, grabs her, turns the mic down, the, uh, turns the knife around in her hand. And it was like, run that into mommy. <laughs> oh are you serious yeah like for a second i thought he was gonna be a father <laughs> have you ever seen an absent father in the room with their kid uh that's kind of what was happening and then we were all sitting around chilling and he was like hey so do you guys want to buy some crack whoa shut the fuck up and it got about that quiet it was like uh like me and a few other comedians and he was like i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just kidding i don't do it and i'm just like yeah i can tell by your face uh, <laughs> Welcome to Clown College. We have profound knowledge in many ways to elevate and make it sound polished. So if you want to hear a little honest, a few takes on a ways to make it as a comic, then stick around for a while. If you're down to clown, we got the guests right now just to show you how. Let's all go to Clown College, baby. Let's all go to Clown Oh yeah, yeah, they're both recording. Sure. Yep. Huh? Mm-hmm. You see the numbers? Oh yeah. See the one, the zero, the I had six. I move all the Pokemon cards out of the way, man. Oh shit, yeah. Did you still got that uh, one that he opened? Oh yeah, man, still on my table. Norman, untouched. shout out Norman, dude. Norman, who's that? Her parasol lady. That was the card. Oh okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> shout out to parasol. Not a person. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so what's been going on, Brandon? Man, a lot. I heard That's you tried to kill somebody at work. Oh, man. man. See, that was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> it always is. It was an accident. It was, I feel like we both messed up in a way, if you think about it, man. So what happened was, is like the customer was giving me the cash, mm-hmm. like they're supposed to. So I take the cash. And when you get the cash, you everybody knows. You click tender, and then you press the button to get the cash, right? Everybody knows that. And my, my bagger, so as I was pressing the button... She came at the same time as I was pressing the button. I don't, I don't know how this happened because she was over there at the moment. <laughs> and as soon as I pressed it, boom, they both collide. And, uh, yeah, it hit her in the head. So the yeah. change drawer hit your coworker yes. in the head. Yes, I um, would. It could have been bad. I would guess she walked over there to help you. I think she's throwing something away because I have a little oh, trash can. Did she that. bend down? Yes. And then where did the drawer hit her? Right here. <laughs> In the head. Yeah, in the thankfully, head. thankfully, she was all right. And everybody was fucking me the whole time. They were like, you know she had staples. And I was like, really? You have staples in here? And they're like, nah, we're just. That's that tism, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like, we He's like, like yeah, they were them. joking. She's bleeding out on the floor. And Brandy's like, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Get up now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Get that drawer up in uh, you, dude. Was, yeah, that was. I'm sorry. That yeah. happened today? The other day. Really? The other day. Thankfully, oh, yeah, we, everything's good now. Brandon, I'm fucking were, people, stealing people's money and fucking people. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> that that change drawer is heavy. Yeah. From all the oh, money yeah, he man. stole from customers, dude, it came out so fast. <laughs> I never, like, dude, the whole store froze. Everybody was like, <gasps> even the person in front of me was like, oh my gosh, the other cash register person. I was like, I was like, you good? Like I was sound like cash Dante you. the whole time. I was like, you good? <laughs> Are you good? You good? Dude, you know what, Brandon? He actually lasted longer than I did at cashiering, dude. I got fired from Target. Oh, yeah, man. They gave me a raise from that cashier. Like, Hell, He's yeah, good. dude. Yep. They gave you a raise for the cat. Oh, oh yeah, they were like, they were like, you know what? Fuck it, man. You you out here doing outstanding work. You out there bagging and what's that? Scanning at the same mm-hmm. time. You're doing it. And you're Double perfect. Trouble. Hell, yeah. Like, it's so good. Dual I'll, threat. I'll be doing it. And then, like, when I have a bag, they be like, you know what? Brandon don't need that. When I actually do, but they were they just want to. Okay, that's cool. Since I'm good. One man army at the hey, cashier. I I one man army. I would dude. like a two man army, but whatever. How do you feel about self checkouts, man? Well, sadly, we don't have them 
if we did, I mean, shit. Oh, yeah, y'all right don't. There. Publix don't mm-hmm. have self No, no, we Some do. Some of them but, do. They? But that one doesn't. Yeah. It's, too, it's really uh, small. Too small. Very small. Too small to have a self-checkout in that one. That one's weird, bro. It always, it makes me feel like I'm going into some kind of, like, museum. Oh, yeah. It's nice in there. I don't man. like it. Where's that over in Harvest? Twickenham. Twickenham. Yep. Twickenham. Fuck is Twickenham. It's, it's right next downtown, to the hospital. Medical oh, district. Oh, downtown. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, I know. With Taco Mama, Mayways, yeah. Steam. What was that? Steam. The Cajun. What the fuck is that? Yeah. The steamer. The steamer. Cajun yeah. steam. Cajun oh, fuck steamer. yeah. And cookie Cleveland fix. Cleveland steamer. No. no. <laughs> Cajun. What? what? Cajun. No Cleveland, man. I wish Cleveland. They got some. Good you food. like Cleveland? Well, you steamer. know Cleveland's in Louisiana. No man, no. Oh, I try, I try, I try. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ohio. man. But you, my bad. I didn't know you knew your geography. Yeah, Cavaliers, like that. man. Come but on. you would oh, like true. a Cleveland steamer, wouldn't you? A, Cle- a Cleveland what? Cleveland steamer. Oh hell yeah! I thought you said steamer. Yeah, he'd like it. Yeah, it's way it's way better than semen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, honestly, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'd take the semen or the steamer, dude. Actually, that's a that's, that is tough take? because, dude, listen, Cajun steamer. I, I mean, I'm not trying to Cleveland Cleveland steamer. steamer. Cleveland ste- okay. Well, yeah. Cleveland, I never had Cleveland so good. <laughs> you never. I mean, Cleveland Steamer. You've taken a that. few Clevelands. That's yeah. Sure. Oh, what does this mean? I'm Cleveland Steamer, look it up. On Urban right. Dictionary. I used to do a series on my Instagram, Urban Dictionary Vocabulary, dude. There's no. some interesting words out there. No, I would like to see some of those. Oh, man. They teach you some stuff. Let's see. Urban Dictionary, Cleveland Steamer. Let's read <clears> this out. I got you. The Cleveland steamer is far more specific than the listings I have seen here. A sexual act by nature, fetish. The <laughs> Cleveland steamer is when one person craps on another person's chest <laughs> and very importantly then sits down and ro- rocks back and forth like a steamroller. Yeah. Uh, example, Billy, just, Billy had just gotten out of the shower, so me and John gave men a Cleveland steamer. Damn. Is that's, that's so horrible. you ever have one of those? Oh no, I'm good. I'm, you wouldn't do that. Hell no, nah, that, that was back in '04. You could do it back then. Yeah, oh, man, that was perfectly. I think fun. Blippi did that, man. Y'all know about Blippi, right? <laughs> what the children's the, icon? Dude, oh, they, he did get in yes, trouble. Yes, for real? he did get in trouble. It's on camera. It's on camera. Yeah. It's on camera. Yeah. Of course, it's on camera. I've watched it's on, it. Let's look hold that on. up. Hold on. What? It's what did you watch? So, dude, there's literally footage of Blippi. Crouching like you do on the toilet, <laughs> but it's the other way, and the dude's on the other side, and he just shitting on this dude. It's horrible, dude. What's really? up with all these people getting exposed for gay sexual acts as of recently? That's behind <laughs> it, man. <laughs> sketch. Well, oh, sketch. Yeah, Blippy. Uh-huh. Blippy. Who else? It's gonna be next, dude. But I knew that dude. Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marlon I knew. Brando. I don't think. He- did he do something? That's up what recently. Oh, I, I, I thought we were talking about all this time. He's been like, dead no, they, 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 they're recently bringing it up. <laughs> oh, man. Cab, Babe Ruth. Man, probably. <laughs> but they recently brought it up. They were like, he was in there with Richard Pryor and stuff. Yeah, they used to bang. For real? Yeah. Oh. Richard Pryor and... Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I can't see it. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? No, no, no. I was. I just didn't what know. Did I didn't. I, 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 <laughs> nah. His world is uh, crumbling. Man. That's good, man. Yeah, that's good. I like the guy. Just bang sometimes. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> I like the guy. Bang, 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 man. Godfather, fathering in there, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you think he was on top? Uh, Richard had to be the one taking control, man. He's so you a wild think Richard dude. had him? Oh hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, Marlon, he's probably a more quieter guy, so maybe he would. But then again, quiet can surprise you, so you, you think never Marlon really Brando know. was a quiet guy? I mean, because, <laughs> I mean, relaxed. I just saw Godfather. Yeah. I remember when he talked about, he'd be like, hey, how you doing, yeah. man? You stole my heart and shit. So when I hear that, huh? I'm I'm trying to do a paraphrase. Because, what, how does he talk? Let's see. He's like, hmm, hmm, my name is Marlon Brando. And I'm in the Godfather and stuff because he would talk about. That's my favorite line. What's that <laughs> word? What's that word that he says? You got to, what is it? You better accept the offer. We got an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> you better accept the offer. <laughs> yeah. Got an offer you can't refuse. I mean, it's almost perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's I have no director's perfect. notes, dude. Actually, but he was a method actor. So, I mean, if he's dedicated, he could have probably, yeah, he could have took action. Yeah, he was acting, though. You know, that's not who. Yeah, I don't know right. anything about him as a person. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we uh, were talking about. Have you ever seen him in any other movie? I've seen clips 
like from the fifties, I don't know which movies they were in. I just see like clips of him walking around looking like Vito Scaletto from Mafia Two, which they based him off of. No, oh. no, I mean my bad. Vito is based off of Marlon. Yeah, yeah, Kamala Harris. No, no, no. no. Oh, what did you say? No, I said I said Mar- Marlon Brando. Oh, okay, and okay. then you got Vito Scaletta, who he's based <laughs> off of. Yeah, from Mafia, Mafia Two, the video game, best yeah. game in the world, I think. All Mafia time. Two, yes. So I if I went back, because I, I, you told me like all three of them would be like. Uh, five dollars. That shit was like eighty dollars. What was eighty dollars for all the mafia? All three of them, really? Yeah, that's weird. It was more. It Probably was more for than PS5. $5. Was it on? Like, was it on the shop? Yeah. Oh man, you might have to get that physical or something. Mm. That's a damn shame. Yeah, because I wanted to play it. Mafia Two is good. I'll vouch for Brandon. Yeah. And I never played the original, but I played two Ooh. and three. They're both pretty. You solid. need to play the original. L- last time I took a game advice was from uh, Justin Letlow with Cyberpunk. Mm-hmm. I think that was more user error than. I agree. Know. I bought it too. I bought it. You too. were there trying to play it too. Yeah, well, just because I was bad at it. <laughs> too that's, much. That's why I wanted to play. There's not Elden enough Ring. fighting in it. I don't think we made it to the fighting parts. Really? No, dude. No, man. I put like I put hours into it. It wasn't like I just put like an hour. Well, yeah, but you started a level, then you fell asleep for three hours. No, dude. <laughs> I put I put at least six hours into the game. To be like, it's going to get, you know, it's going to do something. And it's like, oh, Keanu <laughs> came. That was, it's kind of cool, kind of confusing, but, you know, we'll go yeah, with well, it. Yeah, well, Keanu Reeves was also in the new SpongeBob movie. So oh, yeah, it. I remember yeah, that. I bet that was badass. It was tight. I watched it. It's on Netflix now. <laughs> I don't have it, but I use my Google. I'll watch it later. <laughs> I can't watch. Oh, we went to go see Ooh, Deadpool Ooh, versus Wolverine. Deadpool 3, we can't man. give out any spoilers here and because I won't be a part of it. I won't be a part of pieces of shit who give out spoilers. Me neither. Even though this somebody will come heard them, dude. Yeah, me neither. Don't do that shit. It is it is lame to do that. It's it. Who who was the NFL player? Was it Le'Veon Bell? Who spoiled what? Spoiled something. He spoiled Endgame. I think I know what. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking one about. Up, one up. One Look up who spoiled Endgame. Let's see. Or one of the Avengers movies, and uh, it just like I lost I, I lost all respect for him. I can't take it. Like why do you if if you Ooh, don't care that Sean much? McCoy. Damn, Sean McCoy, they got it on bold letters and shit, man. What? Let's see, Lee Sean, <laughs> Lee Sean, Lee Sean McCoy. Let's see what he looks like. Just put an image. You just uh, you, <laughs> why are you? Sp- Let's see. <laughs> no, this we have. Look to at this, this dude. Oh, okay. It's a cool dude, man. But he gonna spoil stuff. That's yeah, not cool, good, man. Bro. That's not cool, man. Man, was he a good running back? Yeah, he was shifty. Man. Very shifty. Yeah, he he seems uh he seems like a nice feller, man. Yeah, he's yeah. probably a cool guy, but it's, uh, I still was pissed off. I mean, that's what he's going to be known for. Yeah. Besides football. Yeah, and he's on like he's on one of those talk shows for sports now. Oh well, they hire anybody on one of those. Dude, I'm things, telling dude. you, like they tried to go the they were trying to switch f uh, Fox Sports right was trying to fix all this shit like Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith. They were trying to do all their shows like that. Besides Colin Cowherd. And the the one speak for yourself had Jason Whitlock fat slur fucking coon ass mouth on there. I can't stand this fat bitch. I swear to God, I would if he died today, I would fucking cheer because he's a fat coon Uncle Ruckus piece of fucking shit. Jason Whitlock, you slur mouth cheeseburger eating bitch. Oh my gosh. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's just it just wasn't a good night. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking too, man. <laughs> <laughs> the the one sports commentator I can't stand is well, there's two. Colin Cowherd. You don't like Colin. I don't like Colin Cowherd just because he seems whiny to me. Mm. And then Malika Andrews because she never knows what the fuck she's talking. Does about. she not? No, she dude. just she. She gives off a vibe of somebody who you don't, you would not want to be around. It's like somebody who went to Harvard to be a sports journalist. Is that what she did? I don't know if she did, but that's the vibe. That's the she vibe gives she off. gives off. Yeah, yeah. Well, now Brandon's on Colin Coward's side because he's standing. <laughs> Russell Russell. Charlotte Flair that's what's up. loves it, dude. Charlotte Flair, and Natalia, Hart uh-huh. Foundation. I think anybody would fuck with wrestling if you were standing right there, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I mean, look how look how giddy he is. Just oh, look man, at that he's smile. He's, man alive. he's doing the hover hands thing. <laughs> he's, he's thinking about molesting him. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he cut off camera. You know, we can do more than Russell. Look at that. I mean, his face, pure terror. Strikes my heart when I see that little rat face right there, dude. Nothing good when you see that. But, yeah, I mean, I personally, my favorite form of sports media is NBA on TNT, which is sadly Maybe inside the NBA. Inside the NBA. Probably 
probably the greatest, right? I'm trying to think of another. What one. could be better in terms of just like fun? Fun, definitely number one. Longevity too. Yeah, they had they got that on their side, and then like Ernie and uh, Kenny always know what the fuck they're talking about. So even though you got the two funny motherfuckers back there who never know what they're talking about, <laughs> yeah. like Charles they Barkley, when a guy's banging you, <laughs> yeah. these young guys they coming, man. Dude, if you if you guys don't know, go watch uh, the compilations on YouTube. They're so. Good, I mean, there's yeah. so many hours of it, and all of them are good. If you start from the fucking uh, like end of the '90s to 2000s, and they're still he's talking Dude. about San Antonio, the women being big. <laughs> there's some big women up in San Antonio, and then he starts eating the trolls, yeah. and it looks like he's double fisting cocks. Yeah, yeah that was awesome. They would race to the scoreboard. Shaq would f- blow out three knees. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know what? he's from here too, right? Who? Uh, Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley. He's, he's from Huntsville. From, he's well, from near Huntsville, which is like uh, around Birmingham. Oh, okay. Yeah. He yeah. came to one of these schools over here, or the Columbia, <laughs> I think. Then he come. God, they they need somebody here. Over there, Columbia dude. here. Oh huh? yeah, Columbia High School. Yeah, it's like close to. It's, I think it's close to here, kind of. Oh, that's where he that's went to high I, school. No, no, he went no, to no, do no, like no. an event. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. That's where I student taught at, man. Was Columbia, and they need some help over there. That's where I met Magic Johnson at that camp down there, man. You see the smile? <laughs> Why would you do that? Brandon smile, received Brandon. the magic because, touch. Man, I remember how happy I was that day, man. You still can, you still can feel it, can't That's you? when I thought I was gonna be in the NBA. <laughs> you well, still can. You nah, still can. I'm good. Well, we we're about time. to see when we play this uh, basketball, which is oh, never yeah. gonna happen. Dude. Why? Just, I'm ready. It just I'm has ready. to be like one time where you guys like we're all like on a Saturday or something. Nobody's doing nothing. I'm yeah. down whenever, dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, get I'm not, I ain't playing when I just get off work. It's just it's just not gonna happen. I can lie to you and tell you I would, but I'm not going to. I'm ready. Maybe a Friday will be the best. Maybe a Friday because you you can just go out there and even if you're tired, you're done. Yeah. Unless you got a show, then fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. We need. All right. Matthew Lumber, Blake Russell. We need you, dude. We need Char- you guys and Charlie. If and he's Charlie. Gonna Charlie already said he's down. Oh well, then yeah, Charlie. <laughs> so yeah. so who's the teams? Let's, Me, let's, Brandon, and Charlie. Okay. First meet Lumber. I'm, yeah. I believe in us, dude. I do too. I believe in how us. We have the bad. best basketball player in Huntsville. How right bad? There. I just want. I just want. I'm. I'm gonna stop bullshitting. How bad we are gonna beat you guys, Brandon? You won't score a point Man. on me. Listen to me. You won't score a point on me, and I will score fifty percent of the buckets. I disagree. That of our team. My defense is king, man. That's my <laughs> shit. My <laughs> defense. Clamps. My D. Defense. D. That's it. Hall of Fame. And then clamps. we get Hall some layups clamps. in there. We get some layups in there. No, you won't. We get some layups. You won't acrobatic you, get layups. Some mid shots. If you ever touch them, if they ever give you the ball to touch it, I'm stealing it uh, immediately. Okay. Challenge accepted. Yes. Challenge. You said we'll see. It's we'll see. Be good. We'll have some clips. We could we could throw like a little montage up whenever it happens. Yeah. Oh, dude, we're posting the whole game. <laughs> we're posting the whole game. You just see you just see all of us over there on our hands on our knees, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, like Michael Jordan, huh? Remember when he did that? Yeah, not in the same way. Oh, just like, more, like more of like we're exhausted out. and uh, can't move, and probably yeah. will need a week to recover. I'm gonna he bring played. my inhaler that night. Yeah, you're gonna need yeah. it. Man. <laughs> Hell, fucking yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't bring it out. I never do. I almost died a couple times. I don't bring it out, but this time I will. Yeah, this time I will. It's for the best. Yeah, it's for the best. <laughs> it's for the best. Brandon, I will say he's very slippery on offense. Too, yeah, because he's sweating. <laughs> and he'll, he'll yeah. maneuver right in between all yeah. three of y'all. Wasn't my best night that night, but it was good. What night? That uh, that uh, basketball night we did. It was broad daylight. <laughs> it That's was the most okay. interesting the part to be. All right. Two p.m. Defense pretty good. It was all right. But uh, but whenever you uh you came back, you said you were the best of the three. With defense, I'm pretty good with defense. <laughs> Why you keep? A- I'm talking about when you guys Brandon, initially talk your came shit. back. All right, well, okay. Talk you your know, shit, Brandon. They said they said you were the best, and you were like, "This yeah, is I'm our team." He's talking yeah. about, man. Mm-hmm. Yep, and we good, and we're gonna get this. Larry we're versus Bird. This. Yeah, we're gonna get this. <laughs> You gonna get it? Yep. I remember. I, okay, I'm gonna be. I, I so were you the best that day? Is all I want to know. Best that day? Yes. 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 No. No. Defensively, yes. Mm-hmm. Defensively, yes. Defensively, yes. But my <laughs> yes. asthma was whooping my ass that day. I'm gonna be honest, man. I got on board because everybody was saying I didn't. At first, I was like, for real? Fuck yeah! All right. But listen, defensively, uh-huh. and layup <laughs> defensively, and layup he was shots, the best. and maybe even some mid shots. We get that. Especially, yeah, we get that. I, I, I start running a little bit, get that endurance up. Brandon, Hell yeah. how about this? 
if you score on me. Oh, okay. I'll get you, and that, that doesn't matter about win or losing. If you score one point on me, I'll give you a hundred dollars. And challenge accepted. Brandon's gonna get that on. I'm getting a hundred dollars. So? Yeah, dude. Brandon, you won't score on me. Oh man, challenge And I suck. I need. I need. I need everybody to understand. I am terrible at basketball. The only thing I am good at, and that's how I know when people are bad, is what they say. Because the only thing I am kind of good at defense. is defense. defense. But I'm not really good at it because I'm just gonna foul you. <laughs> well, we don't call fouls, dude. Yeah. So if you're not calling fouls, now I won't hold you or anything, but I will, you know, give a little check. He'll touch you. Yeah. Okay. You will get touched. And we used to that. Sorry, man. Oh, fucking wrestling, man. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, what he yeah. was talking about. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, there we yeah. go. Yeah, it's all yeah, yeah. Man, what y'all think? Man? <laughs> Be cool, man. Be cool. <laughs> Hit yeah. him with the forearm shiver. Yeah, man. I did football for a year. I didn't know shit about it. Yeah, Brandon. I just asked Brandon what a linebacker <laughs> was. He said, <laughs> he said the dude who catches the ball. Yeah, that's what it is. Sometimes, <laughs> dude. Yeah, very is, rarely. Is true. Sometimes. Hey, you taught me. You like watch Madden. I should have done that. Play like, Madden. I should have played Madden. What was it? When was I in middle school? I don't know. Probably like 2014. Really? Was it 2014? Yeah. Okay, and 10 years ago, I should have played Madden. I feel like I would have been better in there. Cause people were like, you don't know about it? I was like, yeah, nah, man. He just asked me to be on it. So They were like, hell yeah. Because every time I go to a barbershop, you know, I was fat. Everybody be like, man, you should play football. And I was like, all right. <laughs> Get I'll, you on the line. I don't yeah. know about it, but I was like, all right, fuck it. You would have been a good uh, uh, like left tackle because your feet go out like oh, this yeah. when you stand. Yeah, like ducks, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. Automa- you automatically got that side base. Hell yeah. I could have seen Brandon being the, the best center of all time. Oh, dude. man. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish I could have went up against somebody like Brandon if he was on the line. And you I was know what was end. going on. Yeah. Um, I, would, I would literally pick you up by your pads and run you into the quarterback. Back in the day. That's good for you, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Back in the day, yeah. I didn't know shit. Hundred dollars, Brandon. We gotta go. But deal. he's gonna get that hundred dollars. You think so? I'm a hundred percent. Hundred dollars, one point. There's no free throw. Man. Yeah. No yeah. free throws. Hell yeah. And it doesn't count if if you get fouled. There's no. I mean, if you, as long as it goes in the bucket, it has to go in the bucket. We'll get Charlie to set a screen. I'm telling you. Oh shit, JJ. You remember we were there and that dude kept on coming up to me. What was it? The one with the hat. When every time I was shooting, he'd be like, "There you go." Remember that dude? The guy on the other team that was guarding you? Yeah, I remember that. What are you talking <laughs> What happened? The guy that was guarding Brandon uh-huh. when he would get a shot off. Yeah. He would say, good job. But he wouldn't do that with the defense. <laughs> Didn't do that with the defense. He was just being, it was just sportsmanship. <laughs> yeah, fuck sportsmanship. It was just sportsmanship, Dom. I was like, fuck sportsmanship that day, man. He would <laughs> If Brandon could have taken enough <laughs> breaths to speak, he would have been like, fuck you. My ass little fucked up. Stuff happens. <laughs> oh, man. God. That's our starting, that's our point guard, right? I gotta there. get, I gotta get my, no, I'm center, man. Center, Does, man. Has Charlie ever played basketball ever in his life? I, I think he's probably stinkly good. He was, he was, he was like, yeah, I'm down. So he's like, I don't think he's saying he's good, but. Do you think he's gonna play with or without a hat on? <laughs> That's he's gonna have question. he's gonna have a headband. You have to, right? Oh, man, you either, he either has a headband on or like he wraps his hair up. I wear a headband tennis too, man. Player. You wear a headband? Hell yeah! Stop when you went in sweating. there, no, I didn't last time. I said I will. That is good for sweating. I probably Stop need that to get sweat. one. I'm gonna get an arm sleeve and all this for one day. I got I got new Kobe's <laughs> in there. Compression sleeve, yeah, and shit. dude. I'm gonna get all that shit for one fucking it's game. Be tough. Hell yeah! Just so you don't score on me, Brandon. All right, challenge accepted. All right, challenge accepted. See you guys in a moment. We got Ash Kennedy on the pot. Hell yeah. yeah. It's a great fucking, it's a good one. I wonder one. what it's going to be like. <laughs> we didn't record it three days ago. No way. No, no, we definitely recorded it. But it's a good one. Yeah. Yes. It's a beast. Just straight conversation. Good shit. All right. Hell Bang. Yeah. This week's featured comedian. She's like, no, like what you. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, man, I it's weird to wish your mom could say the word sex. Uh, <laughs> but I was like, uh, I was like, uh, you know, like a menu? <laughs> She's like, yeah, like a menu. And I'm like, and at first I was like, that's fucking crazy. But then I thought, if I had to go to a whorehouse, <laughs> I would absolutely love a menu. Don't make me say no. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just let me be like, I'll have a, um, a number two. <laughs> a number seven. <laughs> Please don't do both of them at the same time. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I feel like we've gotten pretty uh, 
pretty comfortable with each other, so I'm gonna tell you guys something really private before I get off stage. Um, and don't judge me. Um, well, I guess you can judge me, but and also I have stickers. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you guys. Uh, you know, my my marriages weren't all bad. My second my second wife, uh, we had some good times. She found it really attractive when I would go down on her strap on. Um, but I would just get so embarrassed when she'd walk in on me doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested in this. Me too. <laughs> I'm interested okay. in it, and I need to know about it. I'm a shit on it at first. <laughs> basically, <laughs> basically at some point, we both probably fucked a woman who was into crystals. <laughs> a lot of bisexual women like the crystals. Dude. They have the they have like the cloth board and yep. the crystals in the different positions. I don't know what it means, yeah. but yeah. I like it. I had yeah. the daily crystal app just to learn. I would learn one a day. Oh my god! I only remember one. Oh man, as a lesbian, like he just outdid me, man. That's <laughs> I'm just showing up like I just showed up with a vagina. <laughs> I'm Which better, that, right? I have you know? to do at least 14 things to get to that point. <laughs> to like, yeah, no. <laughs> to make up for it. <laughs> it's hard. They're putting us in competition with each other, and we're really just the sad same boys on the same side, you know? For, for like, real, yeah. Though. And, I, for and real. we need that. Yeah. We need that. Team together. Solidarity. Gosh, because I there's so much I don't know, man. All right. JJ. So much. We got somebody special on the podcast. We today. have somebody very special on the podcast. Woo, who we got? We who is a, it? We have, <laughs> <laughs> we have a veteran of the nation <laughs> and, <laughs> and of Huntsville I, comedy. I didn't even pick a branch. I was just like, I'm here to serve. <laughs> Mix the clothing, you know? We have the same haircut, pretty much. <laughs> you know, we probably target similar women, and target might not target. have been the best <laughs> verb to use. That's a strong word. It to probably use. wasn't, guys. We have Ash Kennedy on the podcast. Hey, right? hey, yeah. Ash. Hey, oh, hello. Yeah. What's up, girl? What's going on? Good. How are y'all? <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, they were like, "You want to smoke before this?" Mm, no, <laughs> I'm good. Uh, so, excuse me, I am sober. No, it's nothing wrong with being sober. I'm not, but I'm not drinking up. We say that, but they're... <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they know. They know. It's a problem. You know I'm disappointed in you, man. Why? Bring this fucking Celsius. See, I brought this... You know, he's a he's a uh, energy drink connoisseur. Do you drink energy drink? Uh, no, apparently, like, enlarge your heart, and my heart's big enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stupid. This is not a good one, though? No, man. Celsius? No, dude. You have three kids and go to yoga in the morning damn maybe well hey i mean doesn't that look seems... like it <laughs> but you know you i feel your... like though if that was his life he really would need the best energy drink on the market <laughs> you know yeah. Cel celsius is like uh the trendy upper echelon of energy drinks mm. like uh celsius and alani those are the ones that are that's a shit that. like the fiji water yeah the... yeah basically mm. it's like uh fiji and evian Mm. What's your favorite water? Um, probably Fiji water. That shit is so good. It is good though. It Fiji, is. I could taste the difference. But like, I get if I'm buying, I'm buying great value water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll sometimes, honestly, if you get like sometimes the smart waters per fluid ounce, you're paying less than you would with a smaller bottle of water. Really? Yeah. I, I mean, not all the time, but like mm -hmm. if you pay attention, just weird. Did you guys mm -hmm. see that Dasani rebranded? After they've just been known for being the shittiest brand of water for the past five years? No. They rebranded. They have like a different design now. I think it doesn't taste like shit anymore. I stopped oh. drinking Dasani years ago when I found out that like in like certain countries in Africa they'll like charge people more for water than they will a Coke. And I was like, well, fuck y'all. I mean, I'm, I'm sure yeah. a lot of the other brands you know, do it too, but I was like, fuck Dasani. I don't like to talk shit about a group of people, but the Africans or were they Kenya? Damn. Was it in Kenya? I don't remember which country. <laughs> it was like, you know, at the time it was white television. So it was just like, you know, the whole continent. Let's just count the whole continent as one country. Yeah, that's what I used to do yeah. until I start meeting them and realizing that. Oh, yeah. yeah. People are different. Very yeah. different. Yeah. <laughs> Vastly different. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The Kenyans talk a lot of shit. Told me, uh, he told, for real, he told me, uh, you know how they tell black people to go back to Africa? Mm -hmm. He was like, well, you can't come. <laughs> <laughs> the elitist group, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking <Ouch>. Kamara. <laughs> I, I have, I've like, I've seen that because I've seen people be able to like, like trace their ancestry back and then like get this really warm welcoming and then and then, then I also sometimes because I keep my algorithm pretty diverse, like mm -hmm. people from like different countries being like, no, uh, 
the American people are not yeah. welcome here. And I'm like, oh, a hundred percent. I'm like, yeah. okay. <laughs> and you know that I think Africans don't know that black black Americans can tell the difference between just looking at them. And you'd be like, that's an African person. Mm-hmm. And they, because they try to, they try to do uh, what's that, what's that shit called when you hi, uh, dog whistle, like try to talk shit. You're like, I'm an American, and I don't, and I like Trump. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, we can clearly <laughs> tell you're African, and yeah. you don't live here. Yeah, yeah. I I, I feel like this is going on a, a anti-African <laughs> tirade. That well, I let didn't... me talk about the English because I can tell that they're English even with the sound off. You know, you can right? Because it's like the way they're. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. It's the way, well, I was going to say it's the way their mouth moves over their teeth. No, I'm <laughs> you know, I, I read this post one time on the internet and it really stuck with me that Americans always shift their weight to one foot when huh. they're standing. And I realized I do that. I and do I've that. looked at me other too. people, Americans, they really do do that. I shift my weight to my right foot for sure. I do my left. Yeah. What about you? Well, it depends on which knee's hurting. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of our healthcare system. Yeah. Really. Yeah, yeah, it's the VA, yeah, you guys. You know, you know. Uh, Americans have not met their deductible. <laughs> you know. Do you go to the VA for? I, I do. Uh, you do. I do. It's ter- you, I know you got. You have the joke. First of all, Ash Kennedy, hilarious. Yes. She'll take you down. <laughs> she'll take you down a dark path and then bring you right back up. Everybody fucking laughs. I love you. I love your shit. <laughs> I don't know if you've like I mean if you've noticed this about stand up comedy, but I really try to arrange my jokes to really kind of throw everybody emotionally all over the place. Yes, like I, I, I if, are you comfortable? Too bad. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh but yeah, do you get uh VA care? I don't wanna uh discourage anybody from going to get VA care. Uh it's not pleasant. Well, it's I mean, it just takes so long. It, and and they don't does. do the things that you I went to ask for testosterone. Cause I need some more shit in my balls, right? Yeah. So, so I'm like, Science. can we do a test? You know, just test my test testosterone. There, like, she's like, well, you're too young. I'm like, I don't think you. What the fuck does that matter? Just you're not taking me. my word for it. What am I, a woman at the doctor? <laughs> like, <laughs> rude. I just told you what my problem is. You don't even want to test for it. Exactly. But that's it. It took me. <laughs> it took me nine months to get eczema cream. Eczema. Oh, okay. It's not. It's not. I, I wasn't asking for opioid. <laughs> You had I to carry it out for the term, dude. Yeah, had to carry it out for the God. <laughs> At the same time as somebody to have a baby. That's how long it took me to get eczema cream. Damn. Sometimes I went to an appointment, um, and it took four hours. I get in the room, and I'm like, to that point, because, you know, it's, this stuff's stressful. I'm like near tears. She walks in, and she's like, calm down. <laughs> And I'm like, I mean, I wasn't even, it was like, I was, I'm a quiet crier. You know what I mean? Like my father taught me well. Like, <laughs> I was so mad though. I just wanted to be like, man, bitch, if I did not need healthcare right now, I would say something to you. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, I was going to oh, go ahead. The VA is so bad. You got to turn to crystals for help. Yeah. I want to know a, what that one is real bad. But you, you studied them, right? Mm. Study yeah, it you didn't, very You didn't date that woman long enough to know it. <laughs> you got halfway I got through, through about book three days. I remember Rose Amethyst. That's the one that I remember specifically. It's for attracting your your crush, basically. Mm. So it's like a well, pink stay away from that one. Amethyst <laughs> one. And yeah, dude, I've had one up my ass for years. So <laughs> nothing ever happened. You know, I'm in a very happy relationship. Congratulations. That wasn't convincing at all. But, <laughs> it wasn't. You know, I am. <laughs> we love you, Maddie. Yeah. So yeah, what happens Maddie, with these dude. crystals? <clears throat> I guess it, it depends on the the I guess whoever you're talking to. The way the way I look at it is like it'll uh like I had had one that was supposed to like help with confidence and changing patterns or whatever. So then like when I would look down at it, I'd be like, what am I doing in this moment that I've been doing before that doesn't work for me? And like how can I change that? And, uh, like it actually helped like, cause I was, I, it brought a, about an awareness to me that helped me to be able to kind of analyze what wasn't working. Cause it's so hard to change your own patterns because you're literally on autopilot, mm-hmm. you know? 
That's so real, dude. That's so real. Yeah, like, it is. You, you, it takes a lot to it takes a lot to know what your what you need to uh, what your patterns are, and then when right. somebody else tells you, you're like, man, fuck this motherfucker. You know what <laughs> <I mean? laughs> you're like, fuck, what the fuck is this motherfucker yeah. talking about? But then, yeah, if you can realize it, and if something helps you do that, because I will shit on uh, what's that crystals? Yeah, and anybody who who likes them, you love yeah. crystals, dude. You're in there drive through five nights a week. <laughs> Dom's gonna he's gonna run it in like us. We're he's gonna run into a bisexual woman and, and it's gonna, gonna change your like, life she just has to be latina i've been waiting oh dude yeah that hasn't happened to me yet but i would like that <laughs> no latinos uh, you gotta try a latino well, no I mean, it will I, be the I, worst I, for your mental been... health <laughs> <laughs> it will be the worst for that but other than that hey it's good shit oh yeah i'm trying to remember it's hard for me to like parse out because i've dated all types of women mm-hmm. and just I don't know. Yeah, I'm it's just, it's hard here in Alabama. I'm just I keep getting stuck with just the regular white girls, mm-hmm. you know. Which right I mean, the mill. they're which like I love. But I have like, <laughs> but it's also it's like I don't. Uh, I do have like requirements, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like if they are a white woman, they have to be comfortable in a room full of black people. Oh, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because you, you see, like you see sometimes like people like it's it's like they're very aware that they're the only like we're the only white people in the room. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, everybody can see how aware you are of that right now and it's weird. You know what I mean? <laughs> you try to overcompensate too. Yeah. I went, <laughs> <laughs> we did there was like this pride thing in uh, Huntsville where it was it was a uh, an open conversation for the black community to talk about like what keeps them away from pride, right? Mm-hmm. And uh so we sat in well, the, me and my wife at the time yeah. sat in the back, right? We we listened to this whole thing, we're learning all this stuff. It's really it's really good. And then after it the two only other white white people in the entire room made a beeline for us. We saw them coming and we were like, no, <laughs> no, like, no, no, no. Talk to people and then we can chat later. But I'm like, y'all are, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But I do do that too. If it's a, if it's, if I, now, nah. If it's a whole bunch of white people, I do. I feel some type of way. You should. Dude, the yeah, yeah. Love you. I'm just, I like, do, I'm just I, like, oh, fuck, man. You're very popular with the white community. Yeah. But not, not whenever it's just me. Yeah. You know, if I'm there with somebody, if I'm there with somebody else, or we got like two or three, like a couple little pepper flakes, you know what I'm saying, in the crowd, <laughs> then, I, then I feel more comfortable. But it, when it's just me, I, I, it tightens me all the way up. If I do see a black person, I'm like, yeah, I'm like your Thank friends. goodness, yeah. I'm running to them like, God damn. But that's, <laughs> but that's, a, that's like the complete opposite situation, though. You know what I mean? Like, because, uh, yeah, because yeah, 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 the, the, the context is totally different. Because, like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Well, I mean, I was like in in grade school. I went to this little school in North Carolina, Goldsboro, North Carolina, called North Drive Elementary, and um, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sup North Drive. <laughs> What's gang, up, gang. fourth graders? Um, yeah. <laughs> I know they're watching the podcast. Um, but like, I was the uh, like one of like three white kids in my entire grade, so I got like a crash course in it. No, oh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes I laugh about it though because like if when I'm when I hang around people, I'll you know, like as a child too, you pick up on speech patterns and I just love the idea of like a nine me as a nine year old girl going home with the same speech patterns to my parents who like almost named me Reagan. You know? <laughs> Shout out <laughs> Ronald. Like, yeah. like they must have been like, Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I had the thing, like, where all through my school, it was 50-50 black and white. But I never knew any Hispanic people or any Asian people. Really? I was like that. Never. Same. Sort of never. Same. Like, until I met Alex. Never. <laughs> and, I, and he covered co- both of those bases were yeah. covered so, when I met Alex. You're good. You've got that covered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's good. I don't need it. No. I'm Columbus. I stop in the Caribbean. <laughs> that's, that's all I need. That's all I need. <laughs> Dude, I yeah. understand that though. That's how I feel too. Now when I'm traveling, man, mm-hmm. you go deeper in the south. Oh, you never know what you're gonna get. I, my heart, your, your chest start tightening up. Dude, yeah, especially when you got to get that gas. Mm-hmm. Like the people at Coleman, they're like, "Let's go get some gas." <laughs> <laughs> and they, right. it's a group they activity. Do that, yeah. you know? <laughs> they do that stare. Oh yeah, man. At the fucking <laughs> counter and shit. <laughs> You know, and it, it's it's interesting because, like, um, I, I think it's one of the benefits of, like, being a, a queer person is that, like, I understand the subtleties of knowing, like, if this person is treating me like shit because I'm a woman or if it's because I'm queer, you know what I mean? And it's mm-hmm. like, so it's, it's, it's like, 
you know, when y'all y'all talk about like the experiences that you've had, I'm like, I can 100 percent know exactly that understanding of like that little bit of difference that you know somebody is being a certain way because oh, sometimes yeah. people are just shitty and they're having a bad oh, day yeah. but then sometimes it's like you've got some personal shit you seem to need to work through mm-hmm. like you know when it's somebody who's just like just got off work and he's tired he got to go back see his kids which he don't like you know what i'm saying and there's which a brings me that and that. Price. <laughs> <laughs> but there's the thing too though is like white people are allowed to have bad days yeah. like that black people are not you know what I mean? Like oh, yeah, if, yeah. if like a, if a guy was acting grumpy or whatever like that, they it would just be treated so differently. Mm-hmm. Like you know, but we let him live here, and now he now he wants to act oh, like this. <laughs> we gave him we a gave house him. in the back, dude. Right. <laughs> I'm making this podcast too serious. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. We've talked about the VA race <laughs> and crystals. Yeah, crystals, which dude. I still want to know more about. Me too. I just I might wanna, do it. Okay, well I do know this. Look, start looking up some, yeah, crystals, let's look up some crystals. In my limited information that mm-hmm. I do have, I did know a girl one time who had a cloth like zodiac kind of pattern thing, and she would place crystals at different places on the thing. To plan like her week. Uh, yeah, I'm attracted kinda. to this woman, <laughs> and, and yeah. I know that's she's probably great. not healthy. But she's like, great. <laughs> she's no. awesome. But oh, I don't. Goodness. I didn't know the science behind that, but I do know kind of like they mean different things, and it is like a being mindful thing, like mm-hmm. you were saying. Like it is a great reminder. But to then have it works. Right there. If 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 that's what it does for you, then it works. Exactly. It, yeah, it it's, it, it's like a lot of like a ancient kind of. Well, I mean, I don't know about crystals or whatever, but like the chakras and stuff like that. If you study those, like they're they're actual medical kind of understandings of like where we hold things in our body and how Mm -hmm. it affects us and everything that's like kind of going on so it's like it's interesting like on a on a base level humans have always kind of figured that there are these this like way to need to take care of ourselves Mm -hmm. in ways that we typically ignore on a day-to-day and like you need to take time to be able to have the mindfulness of it i think that's why like religion and stuff is you know can be such a valuable tool if you're using it you know yeah like Reli- religion works if you i mean because if you believe in something so hard mm-hmm. you know like if you believe that yeah whatever yeah. the religion is you know it's like you'll 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 live longer like you're you're going through like cancer or something you have a better chance of living if you believe in whatever god you believe in and you just focus it all on that but still get the still yeah. get the treatment well, but you just focus all on that I believe for sure dude for sure like i'm not calling all religions this but like placebo the medical efficacy is there like mm-hmm. it works you give somebody <laughs> a sugar over here pill, like religion like, is an amazing placebo guy <laughs> <laughs> no exactly Try what it. i'm saying that's exactly that what is, i'm saying but yeah. that was some real shit you were saying because i feel different emotions in different parts of my body mm-hmm. fear is stomach for oh, sure hell i'm yeah. like i get I this agree. like pit in my stomach yeah, for sure. Forehead. That's it. Fear is in your stomach. What else? What else you got? Dude, anger. Anger. I feel it with my soul, bro. Hmm. Anger is real for me, man. I feel it in my eyes. Ooh. Okay. Like right. when I get angry, I feel it in my eyes. My shit starts twitching and shit. Here's a here's a question. When you are uh, fighting emotion, where do you feel it? Because I feel it in my throat. Huh. Like mm-hmm. it clamps down. Yeah. Yes. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. When you're trying not to cry, you're trying to. Yeah. To not. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I like that. I'd yeah. say like right in here. Mm-hmm. So like that. See, having that kind of awareness is interesting because then like I'll be sitting there and then I'll realize I'm feeling that feeling. Like I'm like, what am I? What am I knocking down in this moment? And like we're not gonna cry in the middle of this kangaroo, but <laughs> <laughs> what we are gonna do is acknowledge that we want to and figure out why later. You know. <laughs> I love that. Hey, this is the first time we've had a real conversation on this. Podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is. is very refreshing. Yeah, this is fun. Welcome I'm to the Ash Kennedy Clown Podcast. <laughs> Hell, it is episode forty, baby. Hell yeah, forty. Damn. Fuck yeah, four Hell zero. Yeah. Four zero. That's yeah, what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> we in this. So, thing. Dom, do you date younger or older women? Same uh, age. I love older, but now that I'm this old, it's probably younger. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, Turn the cameras off so we can high five. Because <laughs> you know man, what I mean, though. I right? love older women. Gen X women are they are they are something else because they are like it's like their their mothers dealt with the whole uh, like at, right after the Roe v Wade thing and still experienced a lot of sexism. So they're like hella tough, kind of scary, mm-hmm. kind of my type. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they uh, now that they're they're in their forties, they're. Um, 
You start to, you start I'm going to get canceled. <laughs> no. You they're start to amazing. dip down a little bit. Not that yeah. far. Yeah, they tend to. five years. You know, they're not the best communicators. <laughs> no. No. They're not. No. Yeah. I say about like, see, I'm 36. I'd say about like 32 or 30. Well, really, really, for females, anything over 27. Uh, yeah, same. Yeah, right? Same. I need, I need like a little bit of maturity. Mm hmm. Because you can't go with, like, I mean, if they're really hot. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. You can dip down. But I, but for, like. You're 19, and I feel like I could pretend you're mature. No. No, no 19. No. Not, not 19. Let's not do that. <laughs> I have to be able to drink with it you. Is, it is weird, though, that there's, like, people our age that are, like, dating people that I don't young, see though. how. I don't, I don't see I'd how you're. I'd be so you're, bored. Gosh. Oh, God. You, dude. Wait. It's, <laughs> it's terrible. My, well, I did the math. I never really thought about this until I was like 17 or 18 years old. I did the math. When I was born, my dad was 36, mm -hmm. and my mom was 19 years old. Oh, that, and I was 17 when I realized that, so I'm like, oh, that's if like, my wife was born right now. Oh. It's a 17-year difference. And that's I was like, wow, I am disturbed to my core. <laughs> this is awful. Good on you for recognizing that, though. Yeah, I would yeah, never do that. I, that's, that's insane to me. I don't, I don't understand. You can't talk to him that like that. No. It's so, I mean... If, if, <laughs> if one of your, your biggest accomplishments in the past 10 years is experiencing puberty, not interested. You know what I mean? Congrats. I had, when I was, when I was in my, I was 31 and uh, I was at a comedy show and there was this like beautiful black woman that sat down next to me and she's chatting with me. We're flirting a little bit. And she's like, how old are you? And I was like 31. And I was like, how old are you? And she goes 21. And I was like, have you drank enough water today? Like, <laughs> I, I want you to go for all your dreams, girl. You believe in you. You know what I mean? Like, but I was just immediately like, oh, no, ma'am. <laughs> There's definitely a cutoff. I, don't, I mean, this might get me canceled. I understand how like <laughs> well, 70 year old billionaires because they don't talk to 70 year old billionaires. You know what I'm saying? They don't talk to their wives anyway. So if they're with a, a young 24 year old like Bill Belichick. You know what I'm saying? They're not talking. They're not having meaningful conversations. No, and those women are getting what they yeah. need from that situation. They're getting money. He's getting a hot young chick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, yeah. And quite frankly, like if a 70, 80-year-old woman was like, I'll pay you a bunch of money and then occasionally go down on me, I'd be like, how how much what? are we talking about? <laughs> are we going on yachts? Yeah. <laughs> Spread it up. Dude, if Kevin I've, Spacey DM me today. <laughs> <laughs> you would never see me again. But unfortunately, I'm too old now. You are too old, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're 22, man. You're old. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's interesting because oh, I've, I've, you know, I've been talking about like all this gender stuff and I want to talk about some of this stuff online. But one of the things I find so interesting is like how weirdly we sexualize boys. You know what I mean? I'm going to prove it to you with this one sentence. Mm. Like, have you heard, like, somebody talk about, like, how they've been, like, turned on a lot lately? But can you imagine a grown man being like, man, I am horny as a teenage girl right now? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Damn. Do you realize, yeah. do you realize how gross it is? That. I hear grown women saying this. I'm horny as a teenage girl. I'm like, why, are you, yeah, why would you good. say that? That is the most disgusting thing. Most yeah. disgusting. I've got the mind of a 15-year-old boy. No, no. Like, I, I'm going to start saying that. Like, I've got the mind of a 14-year-old girl. Everybody yeah. would be like, get her on a list. <laughs> exactly. Get her on a list right now. That's so That's true. such a that good fucking true. point. That's yeah. such a it's good just point. Because we don't protect our boys. Exactly. Yeah. It's like yeah. when uh, when a uh, high school like high school age male hooks up with their teacher everybody's like fuck yeah dude yeah. i'm not gonna lie i'm oh, the yeah. same way well i am too I, I, I shouldn't be that it way. shouldn't this be that is way. gonna get me canceled but i <laughs> i tried pretty hard in 10th grade to get molested <laughs> <laughs> well you're talking to the champion <laughs> but let me let me tell you though Holy that's shit. the point is like teenagers are going to feel the way they feel yeah, like yeah. i would have totally consented to this situation but you can't consent to that situation because she was a 28 year old basketball coach you know <laughs> god i hope she doesn't see this <laughs> oh. she's in her late 40s now sup girl uh, but you know what i mean like hey, I know but what you, mean. you you have to like but that's the thing i think it's like where like men they'll make that joke like oh lucky or whatever and it's like because they don't understand the actual emotional ramifications <laughs> of, like, they develop would, later on. you know what i mean <laughs> 
Because like, oh man, that poor that poor guy that was abused by his teacher and then he ended up marrying her, the Mary Kay Turner or whatever. Ooh. Look that Wait, up. What, Mary Mary Kay Turner. Was that yeah. the the guy? He was a fifth grade child and she slept. She raped him. Did, and that just had and a he, Netflix documentary. Yeah, oh, right. and then yeah. he you know grew up and because he had been groomed, he married her. Mm-hmm. You know, she died recently, which is great. She died. Uh, I think so. Oh, if she shit. didn't, I just spoken in the universe. Let's use the crystal. <laughs> 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 Oh, have an equal shit. opportunity. I, hate yeah, oh, I have seen this. Yeah. I have seen this, dude. Oh yeah. my gosh, that's crazy. And she was cute. With a... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dom. Who said? Hold no. on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Dom's like, she looks like she'd tell, call me some words. Oh god, yeah. if she would say the hard R, it'd be you know that's authentic right there. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. <laughs> I don't with think that, she knows how to say Bob, it any other way. Got... <laughs> she doesn't know. Yeah, well, <laughs> There's another pronunciation of that word. <laughs> yeah, 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 that. <laughs> got, that's probably what Dom looked like back in the day. <laughs> you got me. Oh uh, man, let's see. <laughs> Maybe. Fuck you guys. I did not look like that. Oh my gosh, they have the same chin, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's not her now, is it? Where, right, right here. Well, let's see, see, see if she's dead. Let's see. Yeah, let's yeah, see what she's all. Yeah. Let's yeah. see. Wikipedia. She died yes, in 2020. Dead. Wait, is she dead for real? Yeah, she died at 58. Oh, wow. Oh, Early yeah. death. That's the point where we Not cheer. <laughs> well, but the uh, Mary Kay Letourneau's dead. We cheer for that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, it did feel right. Man. Listen, man, when I was in middle school, elementary, I don't know why when I was a kid, I was hoping myself. You think COVID got her? It was 2020. Come in. Mm. There were some good looking, oh, yeah. there's some good looking teachers or whatever. Yeah. Like that's just gonna, oh, yeah. that's See, just gonna happen. We didn't have any. We had one chick with big titties and well, she wasn't chick. She was, she was older. She was, <laughs> she was, she was, she was like 60 and we called her a sagging bag and Mary Damn. because she wouldn't wear bras and the, the principal tried to get her to wear bras and she was like, no. <laughs> Not doing it. <laughs> I don't blame her, honestly. Bras suck. <laughs> yeah. Bras suck. And it, you know what I mean, though? But anyway, everybody, that's the weird thing is you may have not had a hot teacher, but you did have that lady who was at least over 60. And yes. uh, her nipples were always hard. They oh, hung no. it about. <laughs> just like that science teacher guy yep, who yep. always had dry mouth and the white yes. belt around there. And he'd, the spit would come out. You'd have to dodge that shit in the front row. Hell yeah. There, Hell there's yeah. teachers. Everybody had the. Miss mm-hmm. oh, Pig yeah. was my teacher with the uh, hard Ms. nipples. Pig? Yeah, she had oh, fake Her name was Miss Pig. Miss Pig, yeah. She <laughs> dated Kermit the Frog, dude. <laughs> and she actually was the hottest one. It's not saying she was hot. She just had fake tits. Oh, yeah. 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 On a teacher's salary? <laughs> but she, I'm pretty sure her husband was loaded. Oh, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. Yo, you take I, the last name Pig, your husband has, <laughs> your husband has a lot of money. Yeah. That is an excellent point. <laughs> Yo, I used to have a teacher speaking of bra stuff. I'm not going to say her name. She, Round, yeah. round you know, I'm not that old, man, like mm-hmm. all of y'all. But, uh, <laughs> oh, well, listen, well, listen. You, <laughs> we're one year you apart. No, you old. <laughs> I'm an old soul. What the fuck? But I, I'm young. You but, just got uh, held back a grade, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Almost twice. Almost twice. <laughs> and I got held back in college. But listen, man. But, <laughs> That's not called getting <laughs> held back. That's called failing. I'm First of fail. all. All right, sorry, sorry. My but, yeah, she would like, whenever you got in trouble, she would stick shit in the bra, man. And uh, we, we had that. I had that a awesome. teacher in Hold middle on a school. Second. Like Did that. what? So if you got in trouble, mm-hmm. she was hot. Like, mm-hmm. It was in the name. Mm-hmm. She would get like your item that you had. Like you had your phone out, or you had a toy, and she would like open up her bra, look at you, and then stick it in her bra. Mm. See, if that were my son's teacher, I would go up to the school and literally beat the shit out <laughs> really? of her. Really? Yeah, but like. Yeah, because that's kind of yeah, weird. That, that's that, kind of yeah, weird. She didn't write me a good message. I, I looked past it back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get your. I don't blame you from your standpoint, but uh, that's man. that's a little weird. Yeah, that we is a, weird. You, as a we had a man. teacher that did the same thing. <laughs> Can you dude? imagine a man doing that? Oh, just I, being would, like, I would be mad oh, as hell. Just staring at you like this. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> there would be a PTA you're not meeting this immediately. You're textbook back or your purse. <laughs> Hand that water bottle to me right now, young man. Oh yeah, what had to report his ass, man? Fuck that. It'd be like Keenan Thompson on all that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what else you got in that pants, sir? That orange soda. <laughs> Who oh, that was Kale. Soda? My bad. That was Kale, right? Yeah. Who loves unsold? Kale loves unsold. <laughs> it's okay. It's man. like you can't not say something after that. Yeah, you, know? you have to. Oh. I can't believe you know all that. Do you know all that? Oh, dude. This is uh I grew up. I know you know all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we grew yeah. up on that shit. I grew up wanting to be on that show so bad as a child, man. Even though it was canceled for like 30 years. Dude, by back time. in the day, I... 
Me, me too, man. Yeah, I was too. just like, I could do this, and oh, then yeah. and then I'd get to meet Coolio at the beginning. Yeah. You know, like oh, for some yeah. reason, my brain was like, you didn't he's understand. there every time. Exactly. You know? <laughs> you damn sure think that all that he's is by different the little, than she's all that. You know, oh, yes. world thing. Okay. All that was um, Saturday Night Live for kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's how Amanda Bynes got her start. Amanda Bynes. Um, Keenan might Keenan might have been oh, doing he heavyweights you and know. shit by then. Yeah, you know, Keenan was on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, he, he was on it, it, but I'm saying it he may have not been his, his opening. You know, there was a version. Uh, what was of, her name? Uh, the the uh, Lori Beth. Lori Beth Dimberg. She, she was, was funny. stellar. She did this. Oh, she would do this skit where, you know, how have you ever had like a militant librarian? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Most she would come in there and like somebody would be like, "Can I borrow a pencil?" And then she would come over and like with an air horn and she's like, quiet in the library. <laughs> and I was like, that's so accurate. <laughs> Damn. There, there was a version of Mad TV for kids. Brandon, you might remember. I remember that. What? It was, it was a Mad Network. TV cartoon. It was, huh. yeah. And they would do like I think I remember that. celebrity shit. And it was, it was like actually really chicken. good. I loved it. Remember as Celebrity no. Deathmatch? Yeah, Celebrity yeah. Death. <laughs> Judge Joe Mills was Maybe. the referee. Yeah. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this right here. Dude. Yeah, it was like Robot Chicken, if you guys have seen mm-hmm. that. Oh, Love okay. Robot Chicken. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me too, man. Shit was tight, dude. Oh, man. Is that Steve Spy Harvey, right? Yeah. 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 Just back in the good Spy days, Spy. man. Back Steve in the good old days. Yep, when Brandon says that, he means 2017. Summer <laughs> 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 uh, 2014. Man. Was there a Family Feud host before Steve Harvey? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. it's been going on. The I one just, I, I need a moment it. of silence. <laughs> 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 there used to be one, like apparently back in like the 70s yep. or 80s, and the dude was like known for like he would kiss women, he kiss he, every single woman. She, she, they didn't. The drunk they would be like mm-hmm. trying to get away from him, and everybody would be like. <laughs> <laughs> this is like real life because it's the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now we look back, we're horrified, you know? It's one of the, it's the top first two. Oh my yeah. God. The first, the one on the left, the, the top one. Uh, find out his name. Let's find out if he's yeah. dead. We'll just spend this episode oh, cheering for dead. dead. He has shit. to be dead. Oh, he's dead. The, the second dude is dead too because he killed himself. I don't know why I know that, but I kind of, yeah, he did. Al he killed, killed himself? Him. Not Al. Oh. The second one. Uh, I thought you saw the second picture. I was like, huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Dawson, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Look, there he is. First pictures of kissing. Damn, he held on for a while. Oh, yeah, he, get, he gets in there. So he did this to people's family and shit? Man. He yeah. did it to so everybody, family even the kids. Well, even family the young feud, I get Some of the women were fine with it, it looks like. Uh, <laughs> you got to whoop some ass after that. Man. Wow. Yeah. What, what if he Can you imagine, though, like if your wife was into it and you're just sitting there with the whole family and you're just like, yeah. It's like that cult <laughs> thing. It's like that dancer, the singer in Africa. That dude, oh. now, I felt so bad for that guy. His yeah, girl dude. went up there on the stage and just got humped by that dude. Like I picked up and oh. gyrated Damn. on stage, and he's just sitting in the front row. Like he brought her to the. And he was was she okay with that? She was. She he was re- wasn't. Oh, she was very. I uh, say. So let's yeah. say he wasn't having a good time sitting in the front row watching this girl get pounded yeah. on stage. There I, was some I, friction there. I feel like that would bother me, but then at the same time, like if it's somebody famous, then I would just be like, well, yeah, but I'd not oh. get to take yeah. her home. No, exactly. Mm-hmm. But how famous? Mm-mm. Yeah, it would be okay. Uh, like, is it okay if uh, I, g- give me a name that you think that you think it's okay? Uh, oh man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's like, am I th- <laughs> That's what I'm thinking because I think it would be like. <laughs> it's a certain level. Know. Like if JoJo Sweeten did it to your girl, whatever her name, you wouldn't like that, right? Because she's not famous enough. She's not big enough. Yes. Did I say her name wrong? You're talking about JoJo Siwa? JoJo's, yeah. Well, she's if, also if JoJo 14. Siwa <laughs> humps my woman. Her. <laughs> Yes. I would get my woman as much therapy as she needed to get over that. I didn't Fucking know this is no, who no, no. you were talking about, dude. Who's a JoJo C. So- Sweet? <laughs> she's really upsetting the queer community right now. I don't, don't know. Like, no, I don't know. She's, 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 she's trying. She's in her, like, like young kind of phase figuring herself out, but unfortunately it's public. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it, they did point out this really interesting point is that child stars, um, that they tend to, when they break out, they, they usually they they become very like sexual they do all of this stuff and then a lot of society doesn't view women as grown until they have had relationships with men now jojo siwa is gay right mm-hmm. so like really nothing she does is going to make anybody look at her seriously like she's a grown woman mm. and i can kind of vouch for that because sometimes people treat me like i'm not like grown or they don't take take really? me seriously really? absolutely absolutely that's, hmm. that's a thing for sure yeah uh-huh. i do it 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah he's like, I make an effort um, <laughs> to make sure that these women. Yeah. But so, yeah, I do. I like, I feel bad for her, but I do wish she would stop. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Yeah, baby, it's stop! Really I lo- I'm not gonna lie. I love that you see the elephant thing she was doing. She was like slapping her feet and going like, th- I love it. It's, it's like, cringy as fuck, but I like, I like watching. Just because she so called you the N word, dude. <laughs> you know, yeah. Don't care right. if she did it. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, no. But it, it's it's also like it's just like everything she does, and it, it, it's like sometimes the video. I'm like, I literally can't tell if that's actually the sound of her actually stomping through yes. it, or if somebody's added it on as funny because it's like. <laughs> 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 Dude, she, was, she was on Dance Moms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, this is what yeah. you yeah. guys yeah. were so telling me last time. She's probably also been through some abuse, you know? No. Like, I want to like, watch this. Like, like the, the psychological pressure. Abby don't they, Lee don't Miller, they yell at him on there? Dude, oh, Abby Lee Miller the rips these fucking girls in half. That's her right here, right? That's her yeah. Yelled at right now. <laughs> it's that's JoJo Siwa right there? Yeah. That's yeah. JoJo. How long has this show been on? That's, that's from back in 2000. It's like 2012. I think it started in like 2012. See, why do, why do we put children in that? Yeah, like, that's outrageous. But she we gotta work, a we gotta worry about a boy wearing a dress, you know, but not this. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That's insane that they let kids run around like this. It's so weird. Up. And dude, they I, start them at like I six. I was in a beauty yeah. pageant as a child. No. Nah. Yeah, I wanted a trophy, <laughs> <laughs> and I got one. Participation. Good. Hold up. Good. Hold up. I didn't know you had to like work it. They were just like walk out on stage, and so I'm just you just see me passing like. <laughs> just like from one end like, I didn't look at, I didn't know how to like look I, I've gotten better you know what I mean <laughs> I also I tried one in the eighth grade with my friend I went through this femme stage in the eighth grade and there was uh, it was in Tumka, Alabama small uh, junior high very small school there were seven girls in the entire uh, pageant right mm-hmm. so you had your you know your winner your first runner up second runner up third runner up and then you had like most talented and um uh miss congeniality so there were seven of us and me and my friend were the only two people that walked away with nothing (laughs) 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 oh and i like part of me wishes there was video of this because i did do like an an entire like uh, what'd you do what's your thing (laughs) i sang britney spears (laughs) what song Let, let me get. Oh man, I don't even remember. Star. Now I feel old, Brandon. Look up Shit. Britney Spears songs. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, like pre. No. <laughs> how old were you? Fourteen. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were way younger than that. When you were no, this. no, I was uh, fourteen. <laughs> I admired her. She said she didn't want to. She was a she was a virgin, and I was like, I also don't want to sleep with a man. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna cling to this. <laughs> Good Let me see. Right there. You got my baby favorite one. one time. Work, bitch. Um, <laughs> so I did it again. You remember the ones like I'm a star? She was like, "Sit." Oh, God damn it! I can't think of it. It's not on here though. I don't. I don't. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Oh, there it is, right there, number eleven. She's so lucky. She's a star. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Man. It's like okay, this is this is where I have to just like set a boundary. I don't remember and I don't want to. <laughs> Much love to Brittany though. I I'm sorry for what we did to you as a country. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was wild that they had her on there at like fifteen, sixteen in the schoolgirl thing. Yeah. Just yeah. hundreds of oh, millions yeah. of people watching that. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. Wild. TRL every she was number one for like months. TRL was amazing. TRL was the shit though. It was a shit for younger. I always wanted to be in that crowd and to just be in uh, Times Square in that crowd while the celebrities would come out. Because, like, hold on, look at it. TRL? Yeah, TRL, Total Request Total Request Live. Okay, let me turn this. <clears throat> total? Oh, no, it's, just, it's right there. Just click on <laughs> any of those pictures. Like that? Yeah, so you'll be, that's a studio, and outside you would see Times Square just going about. And then you would have all the fame. I mean, these are that's way out. That's yeah. DC yeah. Young Fly. Yeah, 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 that's that's way out. They must have redid this. And or the something. Dolan twins. Oh, yeah, revived Total yeah, Request Live. Yeah, that like right there, Carson Daly. But oh, like you bad. could, oh, right you would see people like go out there and hold signs because you'd know like certain people were gonna be there. And, yep. You know, I remember once there was these young young uh, like I think like older teenage girls and maybe it's like skip school or whatever. There was a story behind it, and like she held up a sign that was like. 
for some guy that was there like hey will you f me and then like put her phone number up and they had to like blur it out she got like like they called her parents you know and i was just like Hopefully so. snitches dude. I'm like, Man. <laughs> so uh so i gotta ask you something before because we haven't even got into any of the notes uh, your dad died by a polar bear accident <laughs> is that true I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> I, did, I did that. Uh, where did you find that? Um, yeah. No. Well, somebody had I had gotten a, a message that was like, hey, um, you know, it was one of those tele- telemarketing things. And it sent me a message and was like, hey, um, uh, I'm guessing you haven't responded because you've been uh, busy or possibly fallen underneath a polar bear. And then I responded, my father died from that exact thing happening to him. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, so thanks, Craig, for bringing that up. <laughs> <laughs> and then he never responded. So, <laughs> yeah, it's very traumatic. <laughs> Man, I, I'm sorry to hear that. Thank, you know, <laughs> Brandon really believes you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like very specific that you found. No, uh, no, uh, Paul's alive. <laughs> That's good. To others. Shout out. So how long you been doing stand up? Seven years. Seven. Mm-hmm. Beast. What's oh, your? Yeah. G- can you give us a? Um, it's my favorite thing to ask. Your favorite uh, crazy thing to happen to you while you were doing stand up. Um. <laughs> well, I've I've had so many good things like happen. Sometimes the, there's this disruption is like funny. Not not telling anybody to do that, but um, I would say though one of my most memorable experiences is that um. I had a, uh, we went out to Rainsville. I was, uh, and it was like next to a house in the middle of a field. And, uh, the whole experience was, uh, pretty bad, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we get there and one of the guys is like, he does like fighting or whatever. And, uh, he's got his, like his little kids are all running around. The three-year-old runs up with a knife in her, in her hand. She's like running around with a knife in her hand. And he was like, Oh no, 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 no. And he like grabs the hand, grabs her. Turns the mic down. The uh, turns the knife around in her hand, and it was like, "Run that into mommy." <laughs> oh, are you serious? Yeah, like for a second, I thought he was gonna be a father. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ever seen an absent father in the room with their kid? Uh, <laughs> that's kind of what was happening. And then we were all sitting around chilling, and he was like, "Hey, so do you guys want to buy some crack?" Whoa! Shut the fuck up. And it got about that quiet. It was like uh, like me and a few other comedians. And he was like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't do it. And I'm just like, yeah, I can tell by your face. Uh, <laughs> but like, and then we got up there. There was like, uh, he had let a couple of his buddies get up and do comedy. And like one of them made like a really distasteful like George Floyd joke. And then like the other one said the F slur. And Ogre was there. And Ogre was like, oh, come on. That's too far. And I was like, hey, if Ogre's like. <laughs> <laughs> Ogre, said it. Ogre says it's too far but then like i got up i i I started drinking right which i don't typically drink Mm -hmm. at like a paid gig or anything like that but i started drinking because i was like i literally don't care if i make any of these people feel happy (laughs) um and i just kind of i had like 25 minutes and uh i like started just kind of roasting the guy and telling him like uh making sure his wife knows to blink twice if she needs me to send her some material to help her get away like (laughs) you know (laughs) kind of thing it was it was a lot of it was wild uh and now that i look back on i'm like probably i didn't make a whole lot of safe decisions in that moment say he could if he smokes crack he he don't know what it is and fights yeah like professionally so he does uh that'd be the best fighter oh hell yeah 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 Yeah. Yeah. nazis yeah that's my (laughs) They smoke meth, yeah. Yeah, that's not a crack, though. Crack is different. It's pretty close, dude. Uh, crack was not to 1980s, so I think it was like, what was it, 82? No, it, because it was like the early 80s. Crack came out. Mm-hmm. I would not have expected you to have this information. Oh, you're like, man, like I, you're like the least likely to do crack in this room. I've heard the legends, though. I've heard the legends. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard people talk about it. Yeah, you do like get... WWE, man. Oh, man, dude. <laughs> SummerSlam weekend. Come on. Oh, oh. I gotta take a piss real quick. Damn. Oh, Damn. This has never time happened time. before. Yeah, <laughs> this is unprecedented. That's crazy, dude. Okay, so everybody, hold on a second. Like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, we're going to talk shit. 
So like Dom, right? Yeah, <laughs> he's the, he's exactly. the weirdest no, dude. The weird he's right. the weirdest dude. <laughs> is his beard real? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it seems very full and dark. Yeah, I mean, not to, you know. They're Turkish hair plugs, really. <laughs> That's what they are. Well, tell me why I came in here. You playing my toys, and then Hulk Hogan was getting the shit fucked up or fucked by what is this? Andre the Giant getting them from the back. <laughs> Bullshit. That's what Dom was doing. Oh, with dude, him? I got fucking pictures. Like, I took a picture as soon as I came in I mean, in if it was going to happen, it'd probably oh, be that yeah. one. Hulk Hogan yeah. was bent over. Andre was on top of him with his big ass going to town. <laughs> that was the grand slam. You should have seen Dom in the early days of editing the podcast and how angry he would get. He's like, <laughs> I'm going to start throwing shit, dude. Oh, Wait, let me see. Dom, did you do that on purpose, though? What? Because I came in here. I took pictures of it. When I came in here, Hulk Hogan was getting railed by Andre the Giant. <laughs> No, the, 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 the way guys, he laughed, he definitely LG, did. Yeah. No, no, it wasn't me. It was, it was my boy Tyler. He was oh, like, "You think oh, Brandon yeah. will notice this?" Oh, I'm I like, noticed. "Did you move his action figures?" Yes, he's gonna notice. That. <laughs> he took photos. Oh, I got photos right here. Yeah, yeah Hulk Hogan should be so lucky. Quite frankly, oh, <laughs> you know? yeah. oh yeah. When a hey. man like Andre the Giant wants to get it from a, you know. And you see how big his hands is. You just imagine how big is his. I think I think he had a thick. You think rod. it's pr- proportional? I think he had a thick one. I'm not yeah. saying it's too long, but I bet he had like a fucking coke can. I had bigger this. Than that. I had this friend once talking to me because he's like a six foot bigger kind of bigger kind of dude. And mm-hmm. we were like 20 years old, so we're still talking about this crap. And he said that he slept with this woman, and she told him that his thing was like kind of big. And he's like. And it just kind of surprised me because in my hand it looked real small. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what a beautiful surprise for you then. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's only eight and a half inches. <laughs> you think they recorded uh, Andre's junk? Like they recorded the side? Because I feel like if you like a tall, big guy, <laughs> they got to at least record it. They could, it could be like scientific. You don't know, man. <laughs> Brandon, if they did, you would know. Yeah. So I just don't want to search dude. it up. I love your face with that. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, like, like somebody was like, Andre, you know what's up? Like, <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, Hold man, down. you're the tallest, like one of the tallest and biggest people, man. So let's see if it's true that the big people. That's I don't think it's true. If you talk to gay men, it's the skinny, it's the skinny guys that apparently oh, have the, okay. the, you know, the rods. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. I don't know. I, every time I see like a, a real live one, it just makes me giggle. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, I'm real live. glad I was not born a dude because I just giggle probably the whole time. <laughs> I'd be doing that helicopter thing. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work with the straps too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Do they make a flaccid strap on? Well, they do. Well, they have things called packers, like for uh, like trans people or people who experience bottom dysphoria, mm-hmm. to to wear that. What does that do? That you know. Hold on. What you talking about? What you guys say? What does it do? <laughs> what is it? What are you talking about? Packer. It's a, it's a, it's called a packer, and it's like it's supposed to be like a penis, but it doesn't. It's not hard. It's just so that like. You feel like complete. Oh, so more you complete. wear you wear it whenever you're just wearing regular clothes. Yeah, yeah. yeah I need yeah. one of those. Where they called? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Trust me, I got the connections on that. I got, I got you. But yeah, it's. <laughs> How do we get to talk about dicks? Oh, no. oh yeah. talking about Andre. It Dick always Dick. comes like back to that. <laughs> it sure does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's why you see, you, like, yes. ancient Pompeii. There's there's uh, drawings of penises oh, yeah. and tatas and all that stuff. Like, we've thought that was hilarious in our entire lives. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's natural. why God smited them with the volcano. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or it really turned God on, and he's like, I'm going to blow it. All right, I'm uh, officially retiring after that. <laughs> you remember Cleopatra had that beehive thing too, where she would put the bees in there and it starts shaking up. No, I don't know about this. She, had a, she had a whole beehive vibrator that she made. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Back in the Egyptian smart. time. Smart, very smart. But if they got out, she would have been fucked. So thank God. <laughs> I mean, she was fucked. Oh yeah, she was getting it down back in those days. Man. I know she's such a hero. You know, I mean, I don't know if don't count me on that. I've just mostly seen '90s <laughs> renditions of her, and also. <laughs> But yeah, I yeah, don't know I don't, if she's done something cancelable. I, like. I don't know anything about Cleopatra. See if we can find it? She lived way more recently than people think. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like it yeah. was. It's an insane amount. I mean, it sounds like an ancient Egypt. Yeah. Name, but it's yeah. she's. Or eighteen hundred years ago, or some shit like 
Really? Yeah. I mean, it was like, more less, recent yeah, than that. Yeah, no, more recent than she that. She lived closer to the moon landing than to the building of the pyramids. That's because the pyramids were 5,000. In 69 BC, so I yeah. mean, that's pretty... Like she died at she 39? She died at 39, damn. Okay, so my 40th needs to be like, beat you, Cleopatra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she had a lot of children, of course. Yeah, okay. they they did. Uh, they also at the time did not approve birth control. The conservative Republicans at the time were like, <laughs> "Nope, Cleopatra, you're gonna birth this baby." <laughs> See, this is what it'd be like, right? <laughs> the problem. <laughs> That's it. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. That's not it. Definitely not it. It looks like um, it though. As somebody with a, as somebody <laughs> that has a vagina, I don't think that. Is nah, no. Right. That was the rose Wait, toy on. back in the day, <laughs> dude. <laughs> that was just lit. squash. No, it said it right there. It said 13, 1300 BC vibrator. You, when you can't find a dildo, so you gotta depend on the local vegetation. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cucumber it's like a squash. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> just like, just imagine lesbians back then. Like, girl, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna go pick a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> It's like they built the pyramids, but they couldn't find oh, a better no. shape. Oh, shit. Let me go back. Hold on. <laughs> this, is in, <laughs> this is impressive. I know. Like, this is really oh, cool. Is that a stone one? Where? Right here? What? Right there, yeah. Oh, I mean, they put the head on it, too. Damn, they yeah, fucked they that did. circumcision up real bad, dude. <laughs> go to the first picture. Oh, the first it's one? A diagram? Yep. This is how it worked. Oh, so that is real. A gourd of bees. What the fuck? This in that squash while you getting squashed, you know? You just want to get turned on and be like, go get the beekeeper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, that's a good cosplay. He comes with a beekeeper suit. Smoke the <laughs> orgasm out, dude. <laughs> Yo, who saw the beekeeper, though? I just saw that, man. You oh, I did watch Dress that. as a beekeeper for Halloween and be like, I'm Cleopatra's servant. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do in my Deadpool suit. Where a beekeeper's name too. Oh, your Deadpool. Suit. Oh man, Deadpool. beekeeper. Deadpool. I mean, Deadpool. if somebody was gonna do that, it would be Deadpool. Yeah. Deadpool yeah, would be man. like, "I'll get those bees for you, girl." Exactly. <laughs> so we're, we're trying to get. Uh, I want to know if you can help convince Brandon. He's a hardcore Trumper now, and we're trying to get Vince him not to be a, a yeah. Trump supporter. Mm-mm. Okay. Mm-mm. Oh, is this where I'm supposed to pop in and tell him? <laughs> Uh, he likes Jim Bru- Jim Brewer's his favorite comedian. I, I, not favorite, but he he got me laughing. <laughs> he just like the noise. He just like the noise. Not Trump. Not Trump. No 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 no. Just just Hulk Hogan. <laughs> no. He was distraught I'm when Hulk Hogan ripped off his shirt. Yeah, when Hulk yeah. now that threw me off guard when Hulk Hogan popped up in there, man. I couldn't oh, believe it because I got like literally it, every the, era. the Republican National Convention looked like a like um like a mega church. Yeah. <laughs> that was the total vibe. Everybody's like, yeah, I got a tan box on my ears. I'm ready to fuck shit up. And Donald you know? Trump's like, it's not about me. It's, yeah. it's not about me. I know I just yeah. did. 14 backflips before yeah. I came out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to depend on a teleprompter because it's hard to read. Oh, I was just watching something with Pete Davidson was like, Trump can't read. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You seen I that? Saw, I saw that you one. Saw yeah. That one? yeah. He's like, he's like, Trump Sugar, can't read. He said that they were in the meetings all like, uh, like the, the, before he had being all like, uh, Man, my brain is breaking. <laughs> he was he was like, uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna say something different here. You yeah. know, I can't do a Trump accent and I don't want to because I, I try to and I'm the worst at it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Huge. 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 Yeah, I can't do it. Wait, let me try. I want to because I have a joke that I need to do it, but I just it, it. it's hard if you've never sexually assaulted a woman. You know? <laughs> oh shit. Sorry. No, no I don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody's like, no, no, I'm just that was just JJ a terrible a fucking joke. That's why Jake is so good, dude. You know, he does it great. Cut that. <laughs> I can try it. Let me try it. My name is Donald yeah. Trump. Donald it's, J. Trump. What, wow. what I've always loved. It's, it's just it was always it's always been interesting because like anytime you like would talk crap about Trump and people would be like, well, what about Biden? We're like, no, we hate him too. Like, <laughs> yeah. Biden's just so old. I believe he Biden was probably a good guy. Maybe. So, well, he did vote. So old. He did vote in favor of segregation in 1977. Well, dude. you know, like, maybe maybe it wasn't the right record. time. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> what? Like a decade after they got rid of it, he's like, you know what, dude? I'm throwing <laughs> this is my vote. I'm casting my stone here, dude. You know, back in the day, he did look like that dude that played Captain America. Like it was really cool. 
see. What? Doesn't he look like what's that dude? Chris, Chris Evans. Evans? <laughs> yeah, I see it. No, Brad, dude, what are you This is about not right another now. teen movie. Captain right America. Here. Nobody sees Captain America. No. Yeah, he doesn't look like Chris Evans in the slightest. <laughs> Just because you're the he, president doesn't make you Captain <laughs> America. <laughs> he looks like his clothes have never landed in the hamper. Like. <laughs> Yeah, they are wrinkled. That kind of looks like AJ O'Leary right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This picture. Just about, like, like I don't know. Most most powerful people that age, though, have, like, I think they have just terrible, terrible secrets. <laughs> oh. You know? Oh, guaranteed. Oh, that's why, and this is what I said, Hillary Clinton would have been the best female president. Listen to <laughs> me. <laughs> Listen no, to go me. ahead. <laughs> She'll kill people, women and children, for the greater good. Who do you want other <laughs> at the leader of this? Yeah. If something has to go down, you need somebody who can make those hard decisions. I'll I trust agree. you. You don't think honest. Sarah Palin could have done that? Dude? No, my, no. 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 My I mom, think she's soft on the inside. The mm. thing, the thing with Hillary Clinton, my mother. Um, Oh man, this is terrible. I'm sharing this family <laughs> shit. But you know what? Maybe you shouldn't have said things. <laughs> <laughs> but she was like, Yeah. At one point, they were asking her, like, What are you going to do with your time when she was the uh, first lady? Mm-hmm. And she's like, Well, I'm not going to be like sitting around baking cookies, right? And boy, did that piss off that like housewives, right? Yeah. Including my mother. And this is 2016. My mom's like, oh, I just don't like that she said that. And I was like, That was in 1991. And she's like, Yeah. I was like, Wasn't that the same year you told my sister not to marry a black man? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess a good thing that like the whole country was wasn't watching <laughs> and you're not gonna be judged for it the rest of your life <laughs> <laughs> sorry mom Damn. based but you know what you've grown as a person <laughs> and you've realized there are worse yeah. things like your daughter could be gay <laughs> <laughs> Hell like, yeah. no lie my first girlfriend was black that was just a coincidence you know <laughs> <laughs> all right ash uh, the ghostly Muhammad Ali here means that's the end of the podcast. It went by oh, so fast. Did. We didn't get anything, but the conversation was amazing. Thank you for coming on. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate y'all. Yeah. And this this is going to come out uh, next next Monday. And anything you have to say, uh, any kind of social media, any shows you got coming on after that, you know, go ahead and tell it to this camera right here. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I've got some stuff in the works uh, right now. I really don't have any shows going on right now. Um, wow. <laughs> wow, you just like put me on the spot, and I'm like, I literally haven't planned anything. I've done like you know, 20 shows in the past three months, but like, <laughs> I decided to take. A, I'm gonna, I'm kind of chilling, but I am like, uh, um, yeah, Ash Kennedy. You can find me on. Uh, uh, I'm kind of boring on social media, but I'm on uh, Facebook. Um, I'm at the 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 picture where I'm not on stage because there's two accounts um, is the one that I'm in, which is real confusing for people. You just tell. Like- What's that? What's that? Uh-huh. All right, so just cut this part. Let's pretend. That- <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, no, I got totally this stuff here. I am Ash Kennedy. I got Jane Doe stole my identity on Instagram and Shut on up. TikTok. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, and I kind of want to start messing around more with some TikTok, and um, uh, so I would love love some support. I'm gonna. I'm kind of eclectic. I'm not gonna be. Uh, um, you know. Uh, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> you're, you know how like sometimes you get on TikTok and you're like, "What are you doing? You're supposed to only renovate houses," you know, mm-hmm. kind of thing. Uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna be that kind of frustrating, but you know, well, it's like a person. <laughs> uh, yeah, and my Facebook is Ash Kennedy, but there'll be two of them, and if you click on one of them, I I won't see for another year. <laughs> but yeah, appreciate y'all. All right, thanks Hell for yeah. coming Thank on, Ash. Appreciate, appreciate you. you. Yeah. Hell yeah. The ones where we don't get the notes. Yes, that's 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 the best one.